The 7 and 8 Detroit Lions wrap up their 2018 campaign against the 3 and 12 Minnesota Vikings here at the new US Bank Stadium. However, today would be a bittersweet day for Lions fans as Matthew Stafford, you see him right there, his wife announced on Twitter that it would be his last game as a Lion. So we'll now pick you up here, second quarter, Vikings have a 3-0 lead and they have the ball driving against the Lions defense and Mitch Trubisky would find Eddie Royal underneath to the Lions 23 yard line for a good game right there. As you can see, Lions are wearing some new alternate uniforms with the Black Pants and the Road Unis. Then a couple plays later, Trubisky to Alan Lazard, wide open, the 7th round rookie open for the touchdown, his first career touchdown reception, and the Vikings have a 10-0 lead. However, Matthew Sackle will get it going, completing this pass from Noah Brown, who breaks Xavier Rhodes' tackle before falling and getting the first down after a gain of 16. Then, a couple of plays later, second down and two, Stafford completion to Kermit Whitfield. The rookie out of Florida State moves the stick, gets the first down. Then, a couple of plays later, Stafford right back to Whitfield in the end zone for the touchdown. Massive on Trey Wayne, but Whitfield gets free his first game touchdown of his career. And the Lions make this a 10 7 game. Of a mid Trubisky was not done striking as he looks deep for Troy Nicholas. The backup tight end makes the play, however, Nicholas would leave the game with an injury. He would return later on, though. Then, ensuing play, Trubisky morbidly underthrows this pass and it's intercepted by Malik Hooker. That is a horrible throw by Trubisky. He should have led Stefan Diggs to the corner of the end zone and said he throws it right to Malik Hooker. Awful pass, 100% on Trubisky. Then Matthew Stafford would get it going, completing this pass to Trey Burton for the first down, moving those sticks to the 34-yard line. The clock is tick, 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 ticking. Then second down at 10, Stafford to Noah Brown for the 34-yard touchdown. And suddenly the Lions have gone on a 14-0 run, and they would take a 14-10 lead into the half. Let's go third quarter now. Lions with the ball here. Stafford on some play action. He completes the pass to Trey Burton on the sidelines to the... Viking 48 yard line first down at 10. Stafford would have a big day through the air. Then Stafford off the steam to Brandon Pettigrew. Not a good throw by Stafford, but Pettigrew lays out and gets it. Pettigrew, this might also be his last game in the Lions uniform. Then on the ensuing play, Stafford to Kermit Whitfield, who burns past Guy Moore, the linebacker. He's in for the touchdown, 27 yards to second on the day. And suddenly the Lions are now up 21 to 10. However, what is the Lions defense doing here? A big time coverage thrust on second and 22. And Alan Lazard walks in for a 68 yard touchdown. The Vikings would go for two right here. And they would get it as Mitch Trubisky finds a wide open Kyle Rudolph in the back of the end zone. So it's now 21 to 18 Lions lead. Let's go fourth quarter. Vikings with the ball, Trubisky on the sidelines, completes it to Laquan Treadwell on East Tabor, getting the first down. Then a couple plays later, Trubisky right back to Treadwell on the out. That play was money on this drive, moving those six again. However, third time is the time for East Tabor as he knocks this one away. Could have had a pick six if he could hold on to the ball. He'll settle for the deflection. Vikings would have to tack on a field goal, tie the game off at 21. Matthew Stafford would then dump it off again to Kermit Whitfield, making a play on the ball, getting the first down. Whitfield six catches, 79 yards, two touchdowns on the day. Then a few plays later, Stafford misses a wide open Trey Burton, but there would be a flag down on the play. And that flag would be roughing the passer on the Vikings to give the Lions a free 15 and a first down. Ever on third down and three, Stafford sees nobody open. He has to throw the ball away, and the Lions would have to settle for a field goal to take a 24 to 21 lead. However, Mitch Trubisky now he has a third down and 10. It would be intercepted by Malik Hooker. Threw it into double coverage. Hooker with a great play on the ball. His second pick on the day, and Matthew Stafford would hand it off to Samaje Pirine. Let him do the work. P. Ryan, 22 carries on Bucko 6 on the day for him. This Lions offense, 533 yards of total offense on third down a goal. Stafford to trade Burton in the end zone for the touchdown. Stafford's fourth passing touchdown on the day. No picks for Stafford. 
in his last game as a Lion. Then Trubisky would respond. The Vikings would not give up yet as Trubisky finds Laquan Treadwell for the first down. Then a couple plays later, third down and goal. Trubisky desperation mode and he's almost intercepted by Ziggy Ansa. Vikings have to settle for a field goal, making a seven point game. They go for the onside kick right here and it's bounced around but Trey Burton eventually recovers it for the Lions. And right here on third down and four, Dwayne Washington in the game, and he would seal it up as the Detroit Lions end the season on a two-game winning streak at eight and eight. While the Vikings they clinch the number one overall pick with a three and thirteen record, but the Lions they won this one 31 to 24. Matthew Stafford in his final game, 21 to 36, 279, four touchdowns, and the Lions now own the number 16 pick in the 2019 NFL Draft. We'll see who they take.